All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, my name is Mel from Maap, and welcome to our first uh, this year for Maap Talks Episode One. And this is called uh, Sound of Tomorrow. Again, my name is Melvin. You can call me Mel. I'm from Maap. Uh, what is Maap, by the way? Maap is or M M A A P. We call it Maap. A map is called uh, the Multimedia Arts Association of the Philippines. It's the very first ever professional organization for multimedia arts in the Philippines. Uh, we bring together freelancers. We have professionals on all multimedia platforms, agencies, and of course, schools, right? The, the map hopes to establish itself as a cornerstone, cornerstone of Filipino multimedia arts, enriching its members with a strong national and international network, professional support, and opportunities for capacity building through seminars, workshops, and national conventions. Again, that is what MAP is all about. And again, this is our uh, first this year uh, with our MAP talk. Uh, let me just introduce our very special guest. Okay, everyone. Uh, we have, of course, uh, an award-winning sound and music producer for film, TV, and new media. Uh, he is one of the performers of the improv comedy group Spit or the Silly People's Improv Theater, a theater and a keyboardist master of Eternal Now and a cinder block. And he's also a prof from uh, the MMA program in Benilde. You can also follow him on his YouTube channel, Keyboard Kung Fu, if you, if you want to type it in. And uh, let me just try to read this uh, one. Okay, his uh, awards includes the Anane International Festival of First Films back in 2014 for award uh, for Best Music uh, for the film Recorder in 2013. Uh, he also won the award for Cinemalaya in 2017 for Balanghai Trophy for Best Original Music Score for the film Kiko Boxingero. And also... Uh, a famous award a nominee for 20, uh, Best Sound in 2010 for the film Last Viewing. Also the same uh, uh, nominee for Best Musical Score uh, in 2010 for the same film Last Viewing. Uh, FAP Awards, he also uh, was nominated in 2018 for Best Music for the film Kiko Boxingero. And the Young Critics Circle Philippines, which is the recent one back in 2020 for the YCCO uh, Best Achievement in Sound and Oral Orchestration for the film Edward in 2019. All right, that's a lot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for this uh, first episode of Map Talk for Sound of Tomorrow, let's all welcome music, producer, sound, and improviser, and performer, and teacher slash <laughs> award nominee, Mr. Pepe Manigan. All right. Hello. Thank Hi, you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir, Mel. Good um, afternoon, Thank everyone. you for that warm, uh, <laughs> that warm introduction. Hi, everyone. I am Pepe. Um, so yes, I <clears throat> excuse me. I I make music. Uh, aside from teaching, I, I make music and sound for nga, mga TV and films and nice. new media commercials. Yeah. So, so, so yes, sir. sir. <clears throat> yeah. Siguro bago tayo mag-start to, yung, yung presentation mo. Tanong ko lang, when did you start doing all of these? Parang grabe, ang dami. <laughs> Binabasa ko lahat ng mga nagawa mo. Parang ang dami time ni Sir Pepe. <laughs> well, matanda na rin naman ako. Oh, well, sa sure. <laughs> Pero when did you start? Like, I, paano, paano ka nag-upisa? Paano ka napunta sa larangan na to? Right. And how did you, you know, start your own uh, okay. in this industry? Well, to begin, I am not uh, a graduate of music or any of this of these technology. I mean, uh, I, I envy the youth of today that is a college because they have MMA, na, right, right. May music production. I mean, kung ito mga to nagdating ng time ko, wala do na sure ball. But um, I graduated in DLSU. Philosophy I had nothing wow. to do. With. <laughs> I've always wanted to do. With, uh, I've always wanted to do music. Yeah. I wanted to go to UP, but uh, may mga bagay kami may pinag-usapan ng family na, you know, yung music mo nandiyan na yan eh. Try to get something na pwede mo ma-fall back. Oh, okay naman. Yeah. Sige, tama. Let's, let's uh, bagsak ko filo, no? Dapat, mm-hmm. dapat nga talaga nag-music na ako. Pero di, okay lang. Kasi marami, marami ako napulot doon. Okay. But, yeah, it was kind of hard for me when I started because 
um, in our industry or in, in, in the film industry and the media industry in general, it's not always how good you are, but it's also who you know. Right. And I did not have any of that support because my world was so different. It was mm. philosophy. <laughs> diba? Yun yeah. yung mga, yun yung kinukuha ng either magpapare, mag, <laughs> maglolo, or Correct. diba? Tama, mga ganun eh. Uh, so, it was very different. So, I had to work my way up. Now, um, I've always wanted to do, yun nga, mga scoring, scoring. So, even when I was like 18, 19, I would like, uy, paano yan, paano yan? I would like, um, dabble into it and I was lucky I guess I was lucky enough that I was born in the age na nagta-transition na siya from mm. the analog going to digital so pumapasok na yung mga software pumapasok na yung mga to so uy na, na-catch up ko siya kagad dahil ano, ano, I caught up with it kasi right. ano uh, it's it's available and pero sure yeah. ba- background mo pero musically inclined ka na talaga I mean, I in guess. your family, you're, <laughs> kasi you're playing in yeah. a band, tama ba ako? You're yes, also yes, I do. You're also performing. So, yes. sa, saan yun? Saan yun? Like, in your family, are you all musically inclined or ikaw uh, lang ang artist? Yeah, I, I guess in our family, the arts is pretty strong. Right. Uh, kasi, yun nga, my uncle is the late Spanky Monica and my ah, dad is the nice. guitar player Raul Monica and classical guitar Filipino. Right, right, right. Uh, my mom was with ballet Philippines mm. and CCP and stuff and then my tita was uh, no way, I mean, sa theater naman. So it was very much alive. And yeah. uh, during family gatherings, you know, we would strap our stuff. Ako, ako, hili ko talaga piano. I started playing the piano, not formally though, mm-hmm. uh, mga seven, six, seven. And I would mm-hmm. just dabble and improvise on it. So mm-hmm. I've had a few lessons, but not not so much na talagang rigid lessons. And correct, stuff. correct. I, so I talagang, nandas sa family mo talaga. I mean, yeah. everyone's in the theater, I, in the arts, yes. performing background talaga. Yes. Malaking tulong yun. In looking back at it now, malaking mm-hmm. tulong siya kasi uh, na-encourage yung creativity eh. And right. not just, ano, I mean, I have cousins who are also uh, graphic artists, uh, painters, uh, illustrators, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So, uh, kumbaga yung arts was really uh, uh, celebrated in the family. I, I, I guess I'm lucky enough, I was born, <laughs> born in a family that celebrates that um, and they would pursue, uh, they would push us to pursue it. Pero yun na, you have to also think about the, the practical side of it. That's and right. the interesting thing here is, uh, hindi naman nila ako hinold back to do all these things. Basta sinabi lang, basta hanapan mo ng parang kung paano ka mabubuhay dyan. I see. And yun nga. So that's why I went into these things na parang, kasi noon pag sinabi mong I want to do music, mm-hmm. uh, the first thing that comes to mind for older generation before was, ano magiging trabaho mo? <laughs> Tutugtog ka lang sa mga hotel, tutugtog ka parang, correct. magbabarko ka ba? Ganyan. Parang, or, hindi, maraming mm-hmm. media outlets yan eh. So exactly. yan nga, may pelikula, may TV, yeah. may, sino gumagawa na sa tingin mo, bigla, mag-isang lumalabas yan, hindi naman, di ba? So, <laughs> that's where I focus myself and, nice, uh, nice. uh you know, doon ako tumaya kung baga. Tas, you know, and then I tried to learn as much as I can for some music. And then when I knew it, I kind of jumped into the sound aspect of it. Kasi when we, uh, hindi lang naman music eh. There's hmm. sound effects and there's dialogue. So, inaral ko na rin siya para hmm. kung may kliente, oh, I can do all of those. But of course, I will need the team. Hindi, <laughs> yeah. may hirap yun. Kung indie-indie, 10-minute film, okay, kaya. Pero ako lang mag-isa. Pero pag madami, syempre, kailangan may team ka na. <laughs> So yeah. sir sir Pepe paano nangyari yun? I don't know kung kasama sa presentation or nangunguna na ako baka, <laughs> baka gusto mo you want to present it now. <laughs> kasi okay lang ba? No, I'm good. Kasi parang, I'm good. Sige lang. <laughs> okay. Kasi para I was thinking from philosophy, right? Oh, you graduated from DLS yung uh, with a philosophy degree. Yes. How, how's the transition? Like what is your first uh, parang music related project? Diba? Kasi yung yeah. background mo nga, how are you going Ang to be hired? <laughs> Oo, parang ganoon. Uh, saan yeah. saan sa nagumpisa yon? Nagsimula siya, uh, I would get, you know, friends' connections. You, you, okay. you, you, actually, that's one thing that you should have parang also developed in college, your friendships and your, and your connections and your, kasi sabay-sabay kayo lalaki. So it started with that. Sakto, yung kuya ko was also in advertising, ad agency, mm. production houses and stuff like that. He used to produce shows. So from time to time, pag napupuno na yung mga ahensya or yung mga pinupuntahan niya, may mga ibabato siya sa akin. So slowly nagkakaroon ako ng mga ng portfolio na yeah, yeah. professional ato. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, ano, uh, gantong commercial, ganyan pang PH balance, ganyan or live event or ganyan. So nagkakaroon. 
And then, nung medyo marami-rami na yun, siguro nag-line up lang din yung stars. Uh, sometime nakita ko, uh, may, yung Channel 5, nung ABC5 pa siya, uh, naghahanap sila ng musical scores for the PBA and their sports division. So, when I had that collection of stuff na, uh, nagsabit ako na, ay, pwede mag-apply. Eh, kinuha. Yay! <laughs> so then, f- from then on, uh, yun na, uh, I was doing music for the PBA and the V-League, Shakey's V-League, and some other stuff. And then, dahil doon, mga nganak na mga nganak yan, eh, dahil gumaganda yung portfolio mo. So ngayon, dumadami na ngayon yung, mas may confidence ka ng lumapit para, ito, uh, kaya ko yan kasi may, may, mga, may mga produkto na ako na skin or run or music na, na professional mm-hmm. and kinuha nila. So, doon, this, bola na yun eh. Iikot na yun. But of course, you know, Galing. you have to know how to sell yourself too. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm still learning about that though. <laughs> 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 Kasi, ang, ako, ako sa totoo lang, so yung gateway ko was the the commercials because mm. doon talaga marami. Doon talaga marami trabaho. And malaki yung bayan. Totoo, totoo. But, honestly, it's very tiring and toxic at times because uh, parang doktor eh, you know, um, medyo hindi ata na susupport masyado yung mga tao na sa creatives. Like, and, and, and I know from some of the attendees here, you've probably experienced this if you're also working in that environment na kakatapos mo lang tapusin yung trabaho mo ng alauna ng madaling araw. <laughs> Tapos biglang alas 4 may or alas 5, uy, gising ka na ba? Kasi kailangan natin i-revise then may presentation mami na alas 7. Parang, bakit hindi pa sinabay-sabay mami kanina bago pa? Parang nung natapos ako ng aluuna, tapos right, na, di ba? Right. Kaya naman ako pahinga. Oh. So, may mga ganun, may mga ganun bagay. Uh, marami yun, di ba? We, we hear stories about that every right. time, right? So, that's, uh, ako talaga, ang gusto ko talaga, mag-film scoring. Kasi, mm-hmm. yun talaga yung trip ko eh. Film score, gusto ko lang talaga mag-film. Now, so when I was doing all these freelance work, it was kind of hard because you're really forced to uh, to just take the job because kaya mo nang pera eh. Diba? So, and yung reality nyo eh. Uh-huh. So, uh, then, when I felt that I've learned enough that I can actually share this with people, that's when I applied with CSB. Uh, so, now I had my freelance and my teaching uh, stint going sabay. But the blessing there was the teaching Dahil may teaching ka na, mas may regular pay na kahit part-time, pumapasok. Correct. So, Correct. I had the confidence now to say no to projects na hindi ko talaga feel or dahil nakatrabaho na to, toxic to, ayoko. <laughs> But, parang, parang ayoko na siya dahil hassle eh. And then, I, I gradually was able to yeah, just focus on films na lang. Kasi, mm-hmm. yun yung, yun eh. Meron ka namang regular work na halos na. So, uh, then, yun na. Nag-full blast na ako sa films. So, yun yung yun yung strategy na ginawa ko to get into ano to to the film uh, world Industry. although yeah but uh, word of advice for those who plan to do this it's not that rewarding ah. hindi siya ganun kalaki all the time uh, and hindi rin din siya ganun ka frequent unless you're a Von de Guzman or a Teresa Barroso na marami talaga tsaka yun sila hindi lang consistent film. Mm-hmm. Oo, consist- uh-huh. tsaka kasi nga may film sila may yeah. may theater may kung ano-ano halos Parang sakop sila. lahat sir no? sakop lahat uh-huh. eh right ako I, I can't uh, I can't do all of those because yun nga may teaching gig din ako tsaka yun nga mas nagpo-focus ako sa sa new media sa ano sa, sa films eventually gusto ko games sana sana may mga triple oh, A games pwede eh, pwede ayun yung mga oo oh, eh yung mga triple mga ganun well, gamer <laughs> din naman ako <laughs> Okay. So yun, yun yung ano ko, yun yung strategy and yung uh, path path ko na tinake. Alam mo magandang YouTube ano to ah, episode. <laughs> oh, pwede. <laughs> Salamat sir. Si ano mo sir? Salamat. <laughs> Isplice natin oh, to. Oh, maganda, Sinama maganda, sa maganda, uh, maganda sa vlog. To, maganda to. <laughs> Ayun. So sir, question pa. Um like film scoring, let's let's go to that uh, topic no. Um when you're growing up, ano yung mga pelikula or like, let's say, ano yung mga pinapanood mo? Kaya, ka, kasi you said nahilig ka, no? Parang na, nagustuhan mo yung film scoring and all of that. And even games, yan. Siguro gusto ko na rin itanong yun. Growing up, or or what are your favorite films or what, ano yung na-inspire ka na, you know, hey, I wanna, I wanna do some musical scoring na parang ganito yung style. Or sino yung mga, uh, sabihin natin, idol mo, quote-unquote, when it comes to that? Ayan. Madami. Marami. Sige. Oh, <laughs> marami. Ko, marami, 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 sir. Yeah. Sige, But go. when I was younger kasi, so, 
yun nga. Uh, parang parang ano ako eh, parang proto proto ano, tawag doon? Proto millennial. <laughs> I was born 1979. I mean, of okay. course that's pre-millennial. That's, I'm tail end of gen actually transition ng Gen X going to millennial. So, correct, correct. nabutan natin yung mga first batch na mga console games, mga ganyan. So, it was it was a world of change. It was a world na nagta-transition to these new mediums and yun. Uh, so, yes, of course, mga bagay na nag-ano sa akin. I, actually, it was the music na talagang trip na trip ko. Uh, there were three that really, ano, and it wasn't, it had nothing to do with film scoring at first. It was, I guess, yung parang love of music mo lang talaga or love of music scoring or expression lang. Okay. There were three things. Um, Star Wars, syempre. Kasi, Top list. visually, <laughs> oo eh. Visually, wow. Storytelling, yeah. wow. Amazing. Okay. Tapos, the sound was, wow, galing ito. Diba? I mean, kahit sinong tao na nakanood ng Star Wars, kaya nang kantahin yung tono ng Star Wars. <laughs> yung team. Kaya nang gayahin yung tunog ng lightsaber. <laughs> correct. Kaya gawin yung hinga. Diba? So, from music, sound design, Bam! Completo. Mm, all right. So animation, okay. I was heavily influenced by Transformers and G.I. Joe. So, Transformers, ah. So, lalo na yung Transformers, the movie na soundtrack. Kasi may yung banda mm. ko, yung mga banda mm. ko, we play progressive music, progressive rock. Progressive rock, yeah. Uh, progressive metal. Mm-hmm. Actually, yung isa metal, isa more progressive rock. So, doon ako nahilig. Dahil yung Transformers. Medyo ganon. Ganon. Hindi medyo ganon. 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 We're talking about the 80s music, yeah, right? We're talk- yeah, okay, the, okay. the movie. The Transformers yeah, the movie. movie. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yung, okay. yung, ano, yung TV show, ano, uh, halo, ano, parang... Medyo, yun nga eh. Yun ano, ang naalala oh, ko. May mga sir. jazzy fusion elements. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh. Tapos, sa game, uh, it was Castlevania. I remember the lesson. Oh, ito ah. I mean, to the point na hindi ko naman talaga siya nalaro, pinapakinggan ko lang siya. Nakatayo lang ako doon. But you had to play to access the other music para mag- mag-play yung mga stage. Pero puro video, <laughs> sir, di ba? Pero you, you like that parang oh, sound na, no? During that time. Actually, yun nga yung nakakamiss. Kasi at that time, wala pa naman yung samples masyado. It was right. that readily available. So, okay. to hear something na ganun kaganda, kakomplex, with ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-
uh, you just chat it in our uh, chat box, of course. You just ask uh, Sir Pepe later. We'll, we'll uh, try to answer all your questions and all your queries no, regarding his, uh, uh, his background and all of that. Okay? So, ayun, sir, you have anything that you want to present, sir, by the way? Oh, yes, yes, I do. Yes, so, sir, today, ahead, yeah, the sound of tomorrow, right? So, that's the topic that um, I, I'd like to share with everyone. Uh, particularly when Miss Vanny approached me, hey, do you want to give a talk to you know, sa Maap? I said, oh, sige, again, g- g- tayo dyan, g- tayo dyan. <laughs> yes. And, uh, yun nga, syempre, nag-isip ako ng topic na angkop para sa mga MMA practitioners because, of course, uh, MMA kayo. Eh. So, ano bang ano, pwede natin gawin? So, uh, what I'm about to present lang are some possibilities of what MMA with sound can be in the coming years, months. Because mm-hmm. y- yung iba dito, ano na eh, existing technology na. So, Correct. I hope this gives ideas uh, to everyone and you can probably, uh, if you have the, ano, imagination to do it and stuff, uh, might inspire kayo with some of these ideas and concepts that are uh, coming in the future. So, so yeah, let me screen share. Yes, there you go. Can you see it, Bob? Can you see my shared sound of tomorrow? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Pepe. Go, Thank you. Go. Microsoft Word template. Okay, lang it siya. Yeah. Sound tayo with sound. Eh. Sound tayo. Yeah. <laughs> okay lang yan. Oo nga. Okay. So, sige, simulan natin. What is the sound of tomorrow? What, what, what are the possibilities of sound for multimedia in the coming years? Right? And uh, I've always been fascinated with the future, with tomorrow, right? I mean, it's, a, it's such a nice thing to think about. And if I ask you, ano yung, paint me a picture of tomorrow, and everyone will have their own version of what the future is, right? So let's take a look at some of these things. Uh, there's a dream of the future. Right, where we have this really amazing future, ganda, liwanag, maliwalas, sustainable, yung mga tao nagmamahala na, uh, napaka ayos ng mundo. You have that dream of the future and uh, almost utopian, or some would say even nga utopian, uh, it's wonderful, right? Uh, there's that, there's that aspect of, of the future. But at the same time, given our current situation right now, there's also uh, the dreading, dread of the future, right? And we see it in our media, dystopian stories, right? Uh, A world where environmental collapse is, we're just barely surviving it, technocracy, Everyone's at war, companies rule the world and stuff like that, right? And, you know, when we, when we talk about the future, it all depends on the now. It all depends on today. About what we do, what we value, the things that we decide to keep, the things that we decide to let go. Everything, really, right? So, when you think about the future, it's, it's, it's the now. Right? Between dreaming and dreading is the now. Right? That's, that's the whole point of this. That's why it's very important to act now and start working for a future that we actually want. And this is where I want to start my presentation because um, if you want to have a good future, we have to start thinking about these ideas now and discuss them and maybe execute them in the coming years. So, nasaan na ba tayo today? Um, world natin, we know these words, we've probably seen these words a lot of times, right? And we hear it in industry and in school, you know, connectivity, interactive, you know, AI, machine learning, augmented reality. These are some of the top words that go around when we talk about multimedia and tech and future. When you put those things together in Google, malamang lalabas yung mga salitang to. The future is about connectivity. Well, we're connected now, so how much connectivity do you still want, right? The future is interactive. Yeah, that's the point. Lahat yan interactive now. 
well, almost there na nga, di ba? Artificial intelligence and machine learning. Ito, a few years ago, it was just like a fancy term, but now we see it, right? It's happening. Uh, driving, uh, auto-driving cars use machine learning AI to help navigate it. Heck, even the, the Facebook algorithms and and Instagram social media algorithms, they're feeding yeah. it. They're mm-hmm. feeding it, diba? So, right, right. tulad ito, pinag-uusapan lang natin minsan. I mean, nakakatakot yun yung, yung you, you, you have your phone with your friends and you're talking about something. something. And this has happened to me a lot of times. Na, oh, napag-usapan namin. Oh, parang gusto ko ng ramen, blah, blah, blah. Ramen, ramen, ramen. Biglang pagbukas mo ng Facebook, una lalabas na commercial na. ramen. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh, ah, weird. Ito, ah. <laughs> right, right. weird na oh. eh, di ba? So that's kind of weird. And if, if you want to mm. mess with the algorithm, you know, you just say stuff, and it's it's there. And what, what's this? Ano, the one in Netflix, the documentary, yung tungkol sa connectivity and ano and social mm. media, social yeah. dilemma. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ngayon, they're creating this uh, models of us and how we that's... behave. Parang, wow, mm. so scary, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Uh, it's uh, that's but, the future. Yeah. That's the future. But mm-hmm. you know, I I think it's how we use it and right. how we value it yeah. that dictates whether it's going to be used for good or not. Mm-hmm. And right now, it's being used for hyper commercialism, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, then you have augmented reality and virtual reality. It started out as for us, a lot of people, especially I guess if the audience is young enough, uh, maybe their early fond memory of augmented reality is a game. Pokemon Go, right? Mm-hmm. And virtual reality, na, it just keeps getting better. These two technologies just keep be- getting better. And you know, hyper personalized stuff. Um, everything is hyper personalized. That's where we are today. These are the driving forces, of, some of the driving forces or major driving forces that we have in the industry right now. So this is one part of it. What's the other part in terms of sound? Sa sound, meron tayong ito yung mga technologies na meron tayo ngayon. And they're in a way tied up to the these previous words. So you have surround sound. Uh, wala na atang sinihan ngayon na hindi na surround. Lahat ata ng sinihan ngayon surround. Yun lang, di naman tayo makapalod ng sine kasi may pandemic. <laughs> Pero lahat ata ng sinihan ngayon ng surround. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who do not know what surround means, okay, so let me briefly explain. So, uh, when you say something is mono, it means it's coming out of this one speaker source. Mono, meaning one. Doon lang yung sound mo nang gagaling. And then when you say it's stereo, it's kind of mimicking how our ears work. So now you have two speakers and uh, it has independent signals sa left at sa right. And if you place them properly, and if you sit properly where my sweet spot kasi yan, it forms this equilateral triangle. If you sit at the sweet spot, it sounds like real. Parang nafufool yung ears mo. You can actually hear sounds coming from the back. So it, it fools you. Now, when you say surround, now it's, you take that concept of the stereo. Kasi may sweet spot nga lang yun, eh, equilateral triangle. But if you're not there, hindi na siya sweet spot. But with surround, you physically have different speakers around you. Mm. So, for example, when you say 5.1, you have five speakers, one in front, two on the side. Dalawa dito sa likod, which we call surround left and surround right. And then yung point one, you call that your, your subwoofer. It just plays bass sounds. And usually in cinemas, if you have the screen, sa mm-hmm. baba nun is malaking subwoofer. And then mm. you will see... But in, in the movie has marami yan. Parang ano ba yun, sir? Parang sound bar sa baba. <laughs> Parang ganun kalaka. Parang malaking sound. Oh, malaking pero yun yung usually may kurtina. Usually may kurtina. Mm, gets, gets. Tama. Tapos yung, yung sa sinihan, usually, di ba, makikita nyo may black space sa gilid ng screen. Yun yung right. dalawang speakers. Mm. Yun yung dalawang stereo speakers. Tapos the rest, ano na yun, uh, iba-ibang sound. Para mag- so it's cultural because it surrounds you. But right. there's also uh, an extension of this sa home theaters. So, you can have a 5.1 surround system or 7.1 surround system. So 7.1, you have the three, two here on the side, then two dun silikod, and then you have the subwoofer. So why are we talking about this? Because a lot of multimedia studios are investing in this. 
uh, or at least investing in surround sound. Because, for example, when you play games, inyo na rin ng bala gumagana, magana siya. So it it gives you a better experience. It gives you a fun experience. Like, mm-hmm. papa ilag ka tayo ng ganon, kasi napapagili ibiran ka na ng sound. Diba? Pag yung mga bagsali kung digla ang gaganon, de ba? So, ilag, pare, de ba? So so may mga ganong bagay, and it's really fun. Now take that concept further. You have mm-hmm. Atmos, right? So si Atmos, uh, iba naman yan. May extra speakers sa taas, mm-hmm. right? And then you have ambisonics. Ito na yung pinatawag natin na immersive sound. And mm-hmm. then you have smart sound, which are portable devices and stuff like that that extend uh, the... Ano. So, sige, let's talk about these things further. No? So, again, yun nga. So, surround sound, you see this in movie theaters and home theaters. And home theaters are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. In fact, you can buy a home theater system using your computer. Tapos yung mga 5.1 speaker. Mm. That's already a 5.1 or 7.1 system, and you can create so many different kinds of stuff with it. You know, if you have the imagination, again, if you have the imagination to think about apps and all these things, uh, and dami manang maiisip, madami ka na magagawa. And so, a lot of our multimedia applications today. Uh, Ganyan na yung standard. Stereo up. Mm-hmm. Stereo paakyat. Yan na yung ginagamit natin. So, yung Atmos, tulad na sinabi ko, yan yung Atmos. Mm-hmm. So, may speaker sa bubong tsaka sa taas. Mm-hmm. So, ngayon, bukod sa side, front, back, you don't have up. So, for example, in movies like uh, where there's weather, uh, weather changes like storms and rain, If you watch it sa isang atmos, you're actually going to hear it above. Mapapaganong ka. So, it's parang umuulan. Uh, wala pang nung nasa baba mm-hmm. sa sinehan, right? Wala pang nung nasa baba. But that's where ambisonics come in. So, in ambisonics, this is a real studio, by the way. Not here. It's mm-hmm. somewhere else. Yeah. So, ambisonics is this concept where they will use it for 360 degree sound. So you're surrounded by speakers and this will go really well with virtual reality and augmented reality. Mm-hmm. So kung saan ka nakatingin, so kung halimbawa yung sound nandito, dito, nandito dito. Kung nandito sa baba, sa baba. Kung nasa ilalim mo, nasa ilalim mo. Kasi surround, surrounded ka na. Kung baga mm-hmm. surround to the next level na to. Ito yung grabe. Mm-hmm. Ito na yung grabing uh, mga pag-uusapan natin. And then, there's smart sound. So, ano tong smart sound? Take all of those things kanina, surround, ambisonics, but now, portable devices. So, you will have headphones that simulate 7.1 uh, or surround sound or even ambisonics. So, for example, uh, kasi ito stereo lang to eh. Left, right lang naman talaga to eh, di ba? But, With these smart headphones, earphones, 350, uh, 60 degrees, mali eh, 350 na kalagay. Dapat 360 yan. Kulong ng sampo. Uh, pag lumingin ka ng ganun, maririnig mo yung sound galing doon. Pag, lumingin, mm. pag tumingin ka ng ganun, maririnig mo yung sound galing ganun. So pag sa ambisonics, ganun yan. Pag umangat ka ng ganun, ganun. So imagine if you have that headset, let's say may Oculus Rift ka, pak. Tapos may ganong klase kang headphone, yung mga smart headphones niya pag tumingin ka ng ganun, talagang yun na yun. As in, you will feel immersed ka na. So, immersive sound na siya. Um, and some of these tools are, yun na nga, AI-assisted. Kasi binabalance nila yung sound as kinocompute kung saan yung tilt ng ulo mo and stuff like that. Doon isisimulate yung sound. So, they're working on this right now. They're working on this right now. And then, as I was doing some of the research for this talk, Mm-hmm. I, I encountered Samsung, itong 2020 QLED 8K TV nila. Grabe. Ayan na nga, AI assisted siya. So, TV siya, pero with six speakers. And if you place it by a wall, uh, of course, I haven't heard this. Wala naman akong ganyan kalaking pera para bumili ng TV na ganyan kalaki. Uh, tsaka ganyan kamahal. But the promise is, it's a literature, it says six speakers, and it simulates a 3D environment. So mm-hmm. when you're seated, Siguro binabato niya sa wall, tapos inaano niya. So, marilinig mo. So, six speakers. Meron sa taas ng TV, meron sa baba, 
sa taas, sa baba, tapos meron sa gilid. Mm-hmm. So, yung sound gumaganon, gumaganon, gumaganon. Tapos, yung AI pumasok, may object tracking siya on screen. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? So, for example, if there's a, an object on the screen, and it's moving from left to right, or going up, for example, like that, susundan niya yun, tapos nilalabas yung sound from left to right, tapos aakit ng ganun. Pero sabi ko, wow. Wild to. And I was thinking, pero hindi ba kasama na rin sa mixing yun ng programa? Let's say, may pelikula, diba? Siguro kasama yun, tapos in-enhance pa niya. So, I don't know. Hmm. Kano nila yan? Samsung nila yan. Sila na bahala. AI assisted daw eh. Right? And then they have intelligent noise detection for voice clarity. So, for example, you're watching the TV and let's say it's a talk show. And if you're like me, you live next to the airport, from time to time, you hear an airplane going, <laughs> may So, ang gagawin ng TV, naririnig niya yun. Naririnig niya yung lipad ng aeroplano. And it will do the right adjustments para maging mas klaro yung boses ng tao sa TV. Para marinig mo pa rin kahit may aeroplano ang dumadaan. So, para wow. So, hindi lang siya six speakers. Nakikinig pa siya. <laughs> so, talagang smart, ano talaga, uh, smart sound, smart stuff. And then, mayroon pa sinasasabi, yun nga, yung multidimensional soundscape using all six speakers so it doesn't always have to come from the front and, and left and right. You know, sometimes it will come from above because sound bounces. And if it's behind a wall, it will bounce up and it will go down to you. Same thing for pababa, same thing for pagilid. So, amazing, right? Mm-hmm. But so far, what we've talked about are all basically tools of what we have right now. 